Okay, so I'm going to show how to use the answer facts control. What the answer facts control does is it handles any incoming faxes you have to a particular phone number. Um, so most phone numbers are fax enabled, um, as long as they're not 1-800 or 855 type numbers. Um, just local numbers are all, are all going to be fax enabled. Um, so all you have to do is get a regular phone number, then you can select whatever number you're handling the fax with here. That means whenever anyone sends a fax to this particular number, this control is now going to handle it. And almost always the way you're going to use it is you're going to send the fax to a particular email. And what this is, is we'll put our email address here and um, anyone who sends a fax to this number is now going, the fax is going to be forwarded to this particular email. Um, so here's just an example. You can say, you know, my email at gmail.com. If you want to do a more than one email, you can specify a list of emails, just a comma separated list. Um, you can put the subject in here, um, you know, whatever you want something like that and you can also put a message in here so it's as simple as that to get fax to email to working the other thing you can do is you can have one phone number and handle both fax and email with it but it's not recommended and the reason is because the system has to wait about a second in order to determine if the call is a regular phone call or a fax um, a fax call and that means that your regular callers are, are going to have to wait a second before they start hearing ringing, which isn't great. So generally we recommend getting a phone number both for fax and for your regular, um, just your regular voice. Uh, and that's all there is to that.